So this is a thing. This is Cybertron Scorponok, which is basically the engine, the engine, Energon mold with a slightly different nose cone section and different color scheme. And I'm starting in this mode to get it out of the way. It's the spaceship mode, which is cool. It's neat. They were able to get a new thing out of this guy. So it's really, it's not too bad for what a kid's toy. But yeah, as an adult, it's very much the same sort of like uh, Times Return Galvatron. Here you go. Let's contort it into a, let's contort this dude into a spaceship <laughs> looking thing with the most generous wings possible so let's get him into the correct mode the excavator mode so let's just split these here flip these back around into where they're supposed to go down the correct way flip the tail all the way around Clip it in the back. Angle these up. Combine them like this. Rotate. Rotate. Position those however you want to. And it's a cool looking construction vehicle. It's got these giant claws that can open and close. They don't, they, they can't turn to actually scoop because they're gorilla arms. But you have the, what become the feet, and you can flip them down. You can pretend those are scoops. You can scoop up something, flip up, and then carry something somewhere. These little fang things can move for whatever reason. These wing stabby sword things can. Extend, retract. Same thing with these little claws for like digging into the ground. They can move down for whatever purpose. Nice cockpit. And then here's the tail section. In the Energon toy, it was more construction oriented. There was a hook there. But for the Cybertron toy, they removed the mini comport capability, which before the hook was activated by mini comport. They change it to use the Sire Planet key, and instead of a hook that comes out, it's supposed to flip out two guns, which do not flip out at all because I broke the mechanism as a kid. I got this, as you can see, like it's missing the battery cover. I got this at a flea market as a kid. Didn't come with a Cyber Planet key. I didn't have any Cybertron toys. Didn't know what a Cyber Planet key was. So I just uh, flip these in when I did, didn't want to show them. And when I wanted to, I just grab them right here by the like this and just pull them and flip them out. And I just pretty much snapped the little hooks inside. But yeah, otherwise, he's a really cool looking uh, vehicle. And you could do all sorts of fan base modes with this guy. Transformation to robot mode is you pretty much bring the tail around again. Flip up the foot. Flip up. Flip around the arms. Flip around the arms. Split everything at this joint. Open this. Flip the head up. Close that up. And we zoom out. He's cool looking. He's got a nice head sculpt, which is not focusing, but it never will. The visor that can lift up. That was kind of cool in the light. <clears throat> no light piping. The tail is the problem, though. Ideally, to make it look cool, you kind of want the tail coming up and around like that but he will pretty much constantly fall over because of gravity. You can kind of get it. At, at any point, you can get the tail to stay 
like facing upward, that it just looks too stupid, you know, like that. So what I ended up doing as a kid, and what I'm sure most people ended up doing, was just taking the tail and using it as much like a heel, a support. And that doesn't look the best from, you know, most front angles, but it's what you have to work with, I guess. Again, the arms are very limited. They're gorilla arms. They can rotate here, but that's about it. They can't go forward unless you turn them like this. They have guns um, that are activated by many com ports, but I don't have any of the bullets that came with them, the little shots. But the, it's, I really like the cantilever for action. I had fun with that as a kid. I'll move this too. He has his guns on the sides of his legs or hips. He has these things, which you can leave out or flip down. In terms of articulation, his legs are fine. For the day, especially. doesn't have any in and out. Well, he has, like, barely any in and out. And because of the transformation into spaceship mode, he doesn't have ankle tilt, but he has reverse ankle tilt. So if you really want to, you could kind of... Nah, you could... That doesn't even look the best. And the, his legs don't go out splay wide enough to need ankle tilt anyway. And he doesn't have any waist rotation either. Honestly, looking back on him, he is not the best figure. He was a cool character in the show, of course, in Energon. But like as a kid, I, I liked it. It's a good enough toy for, again, a kid. My overall opinion on it is, like, wait for Legacy, because they're going to make one, I'm sure, if you want a uh, Energon Scorponok mold. I'm sure it'll be better. But, like, I, I, I had a lot of fun playing with this as a kid. It's definitely, um, with a spaceship mode, you can swish it around. It's not cool looking, you know, as an adult, or realistic looking, but it's it's something that a kid can swish around. It adds extra playability. The construction vehicle mode, that's cool. And it's definitely more of a toy designed to... You know, just be picked up in either mode. and just bashed against another toy to pretend you're fighting, you know, something like that. Along those lines. And as that, it succeeds. And as a display model, it's kind of like a piece of a collection. It also looks really cool. But when you try to pose it in any sort of way, that's where it falls flat.